We are on a Windows 2016 server running remote desktop. I'm going to show you how to add a third-party application into our collection for remote desktop services. That way we can see it for our web collection. So we take a look. There's Putty, which is a third-party application. That's the one we're going to be adding. And it's in a folder called Shared on the C drive. So now we're going to go into Server Manager. And from Server Manager, you can take a look. We've already got under Collections, we've got a collection called RDS Collection. So I created that in a different previous video. So if you want, you can go ahead and take a look at how to do that in that uh, video in, the, in our playlist. So we see here we've got our three different applications which we've put in already. Let's go ahead and click uh, Tasks and Publish Remote Apps. Now we're going to get this new wizard that comes up. And we'll choose to add to our list of published apps. Now you have to go through this path. You see here DC01, the widget LLC internal. You can't just click on desktop or C drive or anything like that. You have to stay with the path that you see here, otherwise it won't work right. So I know that it's in my shared folder, and I know that it's putty.exe. So we'll go ahead and do that, and look at that. It added putty, and it checked the box for us. Now just to show you what happens if you do it in the wrong order, let's go ahead and click on desktop. And oh, actually, we'll go to uh, this PC, and then we'll go down to the C drive, and we'll go to Shared and Putty, and we see you can't do it that way. You have to go by that default path I showed you earlier. Okay, so everything's good there. Let's go ahead and click Next, and we're going to click Publish, and it's all done. We'll go ahead and click Close. All right, so now we have four different apps in here. Let's see if it shows up in our web browser. So we'll open up our web browser and we'll see if we can get into it. And we're now logged in, and you can see there's Putty in our list of applications. Let's go ahead and click on it, make sure that it opens OK. And we do get a prompt. We can go ahead and click Connect to that prompt. And we should also get prompted for our username and password because we're not using the uh, Remote Desktop Gateway option. If you're using that, then it automatically fills that in for you. And there it is. Putty is opened up, and we can go ahead and use it, do whatever we need to do. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click the X or just click Cancel. And now it's closed. So that's how you add a third-party app into Remote Desktop Web Access using Remote Desktop Services in Windows Server 2016. This also applies to Windows Server 2019 as well as 2012. <clears throat>